guys. How's it going? Letting my 14 here. And I was just chilling here with Flame Swordsman in the library there in between episodes. But, uh, yeah, let's get back into it. Uh, yeah, like I said in this episode, I think we're going to do some uh, grinding duels versus Joan. Well, actually, now that I think of it, there is... Hmm, let's head to the campaign here. There is one more person. Uh, I would like to, that we could possibly, hmm, let's leave the shot. Uh, yeah, there is, well, mm, can we, can we beat him though? You know what guys, I'm just going to give you guys a little bit of, uh, so you remember last time, uh, yeah, last time we were here in ancient Egypt in the campaign, we, uh, we got the map, we, you know, we searched Simon's room. Uh, at first, uh, Sadin told us he didn't know where the Forbidden Runes were. We needed the map. We found the map. We took it to him. Seto was all like, uh, Yo, Haishin dog, I'm gonna, I'm about to betray you, and uh, I'm telling you what's going on. Uh, I'm basically helping out uh, uh, Prince Flood Mod 14. So let's uh, let's take a look around. Let's go to what is this? The Vest Shrine. Hmm. Forest Shrine, Desert Shrine. Well, yeah, now that we found the map, you'll notice that uh, now all these shrines are around. And, um, yeah, Sea Shrine, Shrine of Glory, Mountain Shrine, uh, Meadow Shrine. Yeah, let's head here to the, uh, because there is one other guy I'd like to unlock. Uh, let's head here to the Meadow Shrine. I'm going to give you guys just kind of like a taste a taste of uh, what's eventually to come. Uh, but yeah, anyway, let's just head here. Yeah. Oh, pfft. ah, and it's one of the uh, one of the guys we saw. Uh, you know, like they were talking about. Oh, they were jealous of a uh, Presetto. You remember, like very, very, very early in the game. Who? Uh, what's up? You, Prince Fledenmon Fourteen. And, uh, dude, crimson chin much? What's up with your chin, bro? It's all, like, it's, it's so, it, it's pointy. I'm amazed that you've made it this far. Too bad you'll never leave here alive. Oh, is that a threat? <laughs> How about we play a children's trading card game and, uh, <laughs> see who blinks first. Uh, but that's the card we won, uh, last time, Go Bar. A large spiritual, spherical roach? Oh, that, that attacks enemies by rolling over them, and it's tough defense makes it a formidable foe. <laughs> Whoa, okay, but anyway. Let's, uh, let's duel this guy, and, uh, we might lose here. Just saying, just saying. So, this is a look at one of the metal mages and uh you may notice uh the field's green yeah as you see at the top there field meadow yeah so that's kind of the thing about uh here in this timeline i'm gonna get rid of a lot of cards because trust me we're gonna need to um basically all of the uh mages here will s you're, you're basically starting off with a oh oh i thought it was gonna make a uh nickel gal but at least this does count as a machine, I guess. Um, but yeah, you basically start off with a huge, 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 huge disadvantage here uh, against the uh, Meadow Mages because, yeah, Emperor's Judge, normally 2100 on Meadow, 2600. Uh, Pretty strong. So that's like the hardest thing about this field. I mean, I guess I could change the field to this and hope I get a dragon that is one strategy you can use but yeah that that's the hardest thing about dueling these mages here in the campaign is that you do immediately start off with the uh, disadvantage yeah so just you know just be ready for that oh yeah and they can change it back so we kind of wasted our turn there but uh, you know it, it was worth the risk considering we drew Umi yeah, so like we can even make uh, fluffy here, but it's just it's just not enough, man. It's just not enough. So I'm gonna dump uh, I'm gonna dump all these cards and hope we get a dragon, I guess. Yeah. Uh, right. But this should still make. Uh, yeah. Uh, maybe with the guardian star we can beat it. Nope. Okay. 
let's see what else this guy's got. Uh, Sword Stalker, 2,500 attack. Pretty good, pretty good, yeah. yeah. You gotta be on your toes going up against these guys, trust me. Raigeki. Well, luckily for us, we did, uh, should I play Raigeki? Maybe I should. Uh, you know what? If they summon something strong enough, so be it. Raigeki, man. We've only got 2,800 life points, so... See ya, Empress Judge. What you got next, buddy? Another one. <laughs> wow. Alright, alright. Well, no delay in it now. Twin headed Thunder Dragon, you're up, buddy. Uh, I guess we'll try the Mystical Moon. I don't think this works, but. Yeah. Okay. Uh huh. And I guess we'll go with. Uh, guess we'll go with Moon. We only have 200 life points. Holy crap. All right, Twin Headed Thunder Dragon. Get her. Uh, so we won't be playing... If it's not strong, too, as strong as Twin Headed Thunder Dragon, we're not going to be playing anything else in attack mode this duel. Because uh, we just can't afford... Ooh. Okay, this might help if he doesn't change it back. This might help. Mountain time, baby. All right, now let's show Twin Headed Thunder Dragon attacking. Sword Stalker. Pretty good, yeah. Pretty good. So, uh... Yeah, these people at the shrine, they ain't nothing to play with, man. Like, you need, like, you need some strong cards. You need, like, Twin Headed Thunder Dragon. You, if you got power ups for them, bring power ups for them. If you got field cards for them, like we do, Mountain and Umi, bring your field cards, man, because uh, these people at the shrines are tough. Very tough. As you can see, like, I'm already down to 200, and, like, we haven't won this duel. There's no guarantees, like, we still might lose this duel, no joke, so, yeah, be very, very careful, and definitely, like, if you make it past, uh, people at this point of the game, save, save your game, man, because, uh, yeah, if you lose in the campaign, it is game over, so, alright, I am my turn, Let's see if you change it back, yep, they're gonna change it back, okay, alright, well, Thunder Monster, wow. I mean, we got... I mean, Flame Swordsman is decent, though. It's just... Ah, oh, man. It's just our life points are so low. I kind of want to go for it and just leave Flame Swordsman in attack mode, but... 23. What was... Imp no, 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 no. What was Empress Judge? Empress Judge was like... Yeah, and Sword Stalker was 2,500. You know what? I'm going to switch to defense mode. I'm going to switch. Yeah, I mean, that feels bad. Like, we actually have a warrior that's decent on this field. It's just... Good decision to go out it. Good decision. Okay. Okay, I feel a little better about that decision now. Uh, see, like, we can even make Stone D here, but it's just like... It's it's not... It's not good enough, man. It's not... I don't want my life points to take the hit, man. Because uh, I really do want to unlock this guy, so... Uh, well... I hate to do it, but we'll stay in defense mode. We'll stay in defense mode and just just hope we get some thunders, man. Hope he hope he bricks, you know. Hope he, hope he draws bad. So okay, there's one defense monster. Uh, Fluffy, yeah, you're up, Fluffy. All right, and it's so weird that our mail works for that fusion, but that's cool. Um, any guardian stars? Ooh. Oh, wait, can I win? Can I win? So he's got 4,800. Hmm, if this attack works with the Guardian Star, I can win. Okay, it's a risk, but let's do it. Stone D attack. <gasps> yes! Okay, with the Guardian Star, we had enough, guys. Whew. Man, that is crazy, bro. Crazy. Yeah. These guys at the shrines are so, 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 so tough in story mode, man. All right, Stone D, get her. You got this, my man. <laughs> Just flip of the hair. <laughs> like, bring it on, bring it on. That's what she's doing there. All right, try my stealth rock song for size. Oh, I'm sorry, he's gonna use Haze. Haze attack, yeah. I thought he was gonna go for Stone Blizzard attack there. All right. Bad boy, Stone D. You the man. Yeah. 
Somehow we barely made it out of that duel. My goodness. Whew, thank you, Twin Head of Thunder Dragon. I appreciate you, man. All right, and Flame Cerberus, finish, finish him off, finish him off. <whistles> tough duel, tough duel. But I'm glad we unlocked this guy. I really did want to unlock this guy for a free duel, trust me. So, we probably won't get a good card here, but Shadow Spectre, yeah, yeah. <laughs> One of the early game zombies we saw, but uh, that, 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 that's it. We're just going to... Ah, Flooded Mon 14, you'll regret this victory. Uh, for you will be facing the power of High Mage Kapura. So if you beat the guy at the, at the, the, the first guy at the shrines, you can proceed to, to uh, the High Mage, uh, like you said, Kapura or whatever. But we're gonna just return. We're just gonna, we're gonna head back. And if you do want to, like if you win a really, really good card from these guys, I would recommend that, yeah, you return and uh, save, like, like, let's say you win something crazy, like, you win, like, I don't know, you win, like, Red Eyes or something, yeah, Re hit return, you know, and definitely save if you get a very good card, but, uh, yeah, that duel was insane, insane, and, like, what's, what's really scary about that duel, he didn't even play his best monster, trust me, he, he has, like, he has this one monster that's, like, really, really, really good, but, uh, uh, I don't know why I keep saving, but anyway, let's return to the title now, because I did plan to just, uh, this is going to be the last duel in this recording, this last episode in the recording session, but, uh, let's have a free duel, because I plan to, uh, you know, just do some grinding after all that, but, uh, uh, yeah, so now that you see, like, we've unlocked all the people from the tournament, and since we did beat that one guy, yeah, he's here, Metal Mage, yeah, so, uh, yeah, we've unlocked him for free duel too. And uh, believe it or not, this guy right here, Metal Mage, he can drop some of the best cards in the game, you know, monster-wise. So if you get like S pals and A pals against this guy, which yeah, it is hard to do, but if you can do it, um, yeah, this guy can drop some very, 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 very good cards. Uh, I don't think I'll take him on. Well, yeah, maybe we will. You know what? Let's take him on here. Let's take him on again here in Free Duel. Because it is different dueling him here in Free Duel, too. Because as you see here in Free Duel, the Metal Mage, uh, as you see here, yeah, it's just a regular field. So it's not, you know, they don't start, you don't start at a uh, disadvantage here. So uh, dueling here in Free Duel is quite different. And in fact, it, well, it can be quite a bit easier than if you duel him in the campaign because, uh, yeah, as you can see, much like in the campaign, like he'll, well, actually, unlike the campaign, most of the time when you duel the mages here, they'll start by playing their field card, which is kind of good because, actually, I can show you guys, we just drew our field card. So he kind of wasted his turn playing his field card. So we can change it right back with Umi, and then you get a free direct attack on them. So, yeah, the mages, definitely a lot, 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 lot easier here in, uh, in Free Duel, for sure, for sure. And I think he might have just played his best monster there, we'll see. Uh, but we drew Darkfire Dragon for the first time. Uh, very good. Um, let's make, uh, Jungle King here, yeah. Black Dragon Jungle King? Let's do it. Yeah, all right. And I think he might have played, let's show Twin Head of Thunder Dragon's attack here. Ah, he did, yes. This is this guy's best monster. Millennium Shield, 3,000 defense. It's a, And also, believe it or not guys, it's a warrior type. So like, yeah, we got really lucky he didn't play this in the campaign. But this is this guy's best monster. Most of the time he'll start, and you remember in the campaign it's already Meadow. So he'll start first thing, Millennium Shield. 3,500 defense turn one. It's crazy, man. These mages, like, I mean, we're not going to be doing the story mode for some time, you know, because obviously, you know, I'm kind of glad I unlocked this guy because this is kind of showing you guys, like, this is why we need the grind. This is why we need better cards because, like, yeah, 3,500 defense on the low mage? You can just imagine what the high mage 
is gonna do turn one. Okay, okay, you know, so, yeah, yeah I'm kind of glad I thought about this guy uh, to start the episode, because, uh, if you guys thought, like, oh, man, you know, maybe you're messing around here in free duel too much, you don't really need those cards and stuff, and, uh, uh, trust me, trust me, guys, we, we need, uh, better cards, like, right after the tournament arc, the difficulty level just, you know, it just, it just keeps going, man, it just, it's, it's crazy, this, this game is fun, but, I mean, the, uh, the difficulty, I mean, once you unlock the, everyone at the shrine, the difficulty really, really ramps up, man, like, I'm telling you, man, it just, it's crazy, it's crazy. But I, I do I do have fun with this game. It, it is challenging, but I love it. Deep Sea Shark. See what I mean? This guy drops some pretty good cards. So uh, let's check that uh, card out here. Yeah. <clears throat> let's go to build deck here, and I'll, I'll show you guys. Like I said, this guy drops some pretty decent cards. 1900 attack. Flood Monster. Aqua type. Yeah. A violent shark that attacks anything in the sea. 1900 attack, 1600 defense. This guy's dropping some pretty good cards. Alright, so let's take out. I think we do have a fish monster in here. Uh, I think it's like Tungyo or whatever, right? Let's go to our types here. Yeah, so that's an easy swap. Tungyo, see ya. Deep sea shark, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Yeah, so. Yeah, I. I'm kind of glad that's what I decided to do to start the episode, because that's not what I was thinking of doing. I was thinking, like, oh, well, you know, let's just uh, show some duels against Jono 2 and Teana, and, uh, you know, because there are some cards we want from Jono 2 as well. But, yeah, I'm very glad I decided to uh, unlock this guy. Yeah, pretty crazy, pretty crazy. But, uh, anyway, let's we're going to do some duels against uh, Jono 2 and uh, Teana now. So, crazy, man. Yeah, the difficulty level, man, and it, it, it's 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 something, man. It's something. Uh, okay, got our boy the first turn, so let's do it. All right. Okay, and uh, let's see what time we're at too. I should be able to go for about 15 more minutes or so, and then that's going to be it for this uh, recording session. Uh, what can I fuse here? I can make Kairush, I mean, uh, Spike Seedra. Uh, I think this fusion will work too, though, for, uh, yeah, Queen of Leaps. Yeah. Uh, let's just choose Moon. Okay. Uh, we'll just go with THTD. Okay, okay, very easy. That's a solid monster, Jono. That's pretty solid. All right. Ugh. Nice. We drew a thunder. Uh, let's go with this and this and this. All right. Spike Seedra. Twin-headed thunder dragon, baby. Oh yeah. Oh, we don't have the right to start against that. Let's try Queen of Leaves, maybe. Ah, Kabanala Warrior. Okay. Alright, we'll attack directly with our THTDs. Nice. <laughs> Man, and our, our luck of drawing is very good in this game. Very, very good. That's what we're going to need for the final stages of this. And I would say at this point, in the as far as the campaign goes, I would say we're basically kind of... Uh, well, right after you do the tournament art, right, I would say you're kind of at about... Well, there's quite a handful of duels. I'd say you're kind of at, like, the halfway point of the game. This is about a, at the halfway point of the game, so I do kind of like that they put the shrines and the challenge of the shrines at this point of the game, because, yeah, this is right about at the halfway point, so it is kind of a good idea yeah, to make this, you know, the challenge part, so... Okay, let's duel, uh, let's duel Tayana one time here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of I like it. Yeah, you are about the halfway point, I'd say, so... 
All right. Ooh, Mystical Moon. I do need to try this on some more stuff. Um, we can make a Turtle Bird. I, I mean, it makes no sense for this to work on Turtle Bird, but it doesn't make any sense for it to work on Ushioni either, so let's just try it. Okay, okay. I mean, I, all right. Well, now we know, so it doesn't work on Turtle Bird or THTD, so we know that now. Uh, okay, got a Thunder. Good. Um, yeah, we can just do this. Megami. Pretty good card, Taya. Pretty good card. 2,000 defense. Yeah, I did I did kind of forget that uh, Tiana. We're dueling against Tayana too, not regular Tayana. That's on me for taking the damage. Because, yeah, she does. As you saw in the uh, campaign duel we had against her, she does have, like, quite a lot of 2,000 point defenders. So. And, like, really at this point in the game, quite a lot of people do. You even saw, like, the. Uh, yeah, what you call it? The uh, not the meadow mage, but the uh, uh, the guy that was there before Simon's room. Even he had like seven colored fish. So I would say at this point in the game, like yeah, if you're not attacking with stuff that has like at least 2100, I mean, don't even bother because it's probably not even gonna work. So uh, yeah, we'll just set this. I think we've got this school though. So we'll go with uh, Fluffy. Beam again, All right. and we might get a B rank because uh, not only did I waste an equip, we took some damage there too uh, from the turtle bird attack. So, yeah, crazy though, crazy. All right, let's see what we win here. Okay, Skull Servant, uh, eh, it's okay. I mean. That would have been way more useful early in the game, but, uh, uh, yeah, mage soldiers, who else they could have? Mage soldier, yeah. Um, okay. Uh, you, I think you can win some, you know, some halfway decent cards from the mage soldier, too, uh, despite him seeming, you know, pretty easy there early for us. Uh, yeah, because he's unavailable until, like, you know, like I said, about this point of the game, the halfway point, so I think you can win some decent cards from this guy, too. Um, but yeah, let's try... Let's try. Uh, let's try Metal Mage again. Let's try Metal Mage. Okay. Alright, I'm not gonna add Skull Servant, but, uh... Yeah. Alright. Okay, Darkfire Dragon. Well, we do have uh, Flame Swordsman here. Ah. Flame Swordsman's pretty good. Uh, and we're up against the Mage. I mean, maybe he'll play his Meadow and help us out, honestly. Maybe. Uh, or not. We've got a, uh, okay. Oops. Let's do this and this and this. Uh -huh. Thunder Drag with Dogfire Drag. Twin hit it, Thunder Drag. Alright. And I don't know why he didn't attack Flame Swordsman. Hmm. Maybe he has like the same attack? Oh, okay, it was this beautiful beast trainer. Okay, okay. I didn't think he said Millennium Shield because uh, usually he puts that one in uh, the sign that like points up. I'm not sure what sign it is. Yeah, that sign. That sign right there. Oh, and luckily for us, we did get Umi. Okay. And I don't want to take a lot of damage from Millennium Shield, so we will play this. And I'll attack with the THTD first. Oh, it was just Invader of the Throne. Left me there. Good job, Metal Mage. You, you caught me there. You caught me. Okay. I mean, he's not gonna change it back. That's good. Uh. Oh, Guardian Stardust. Oh. Yeah, sorry, Flame Swordsman. All right. All right. Let's go with Twin Head at Thunder Dragon number two. <laughs> uh. Pretty
pretty smoothly. We, we got really lucky with the draws there. All right, Metal Mage, what you got for me this time, buddy? And like, he won't always give you good cards, but... Oh my... Yes, dude! Thank you! Curse of Dragon! Yeah, let's check that out. <laughs> I, I, I take it back, Metal Mage. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. Oh, so let, let, let's, let's go to the deck here. Let, let's check that out. Let's check that out. Heck yeah, bro. Check this out. Yeah, I'm, this is one of Yugi's iconic monsters, Curse of Dragon. A wicked dragon that taps dark forces to execute a powerful attack. This guy's giving us some good cards, and like, like I said, dragons, one of the best things we can win, so, nice, nice drop, and um, unlike most of the fusions I've been using, since this dragon has like 2,000 attack, all you need is one thunder, this plus one thunder to get into a twin-headed thunder dragon, so that is also Curse of Dragon, does work with other fusions in this game. Uh, I hope to be able to show them off, but, you know, there's a chance I may not be able to get to, so. Uh, but yeah, let's take out, uh, something for that. Um, okay, I think I might start getting rid of, as much as I like the turtle bird and stuff, I might start getting rid of, like, the winged beasts at this point, honestly. Um, yeah, so, winged dragon, bye bye curse of dragon, hello, welcome to the deck. Oh my god. Okay, well, I'm, I, hey, I'm definitely saving after that, guys. Like, pfft, are you kidding me? Curse of Dragon? That, that is great. That is great. Wow. Off to a really good start here. Versus, uh, as far as the grinding goes, that is awesome. Okay, well, let's, uh, man. Uh, I, I'm thinking we duel Metal Mage again here. Yeah, let's... Let's do one more duel. And, uh... I think after that, that'll be the end of the episode. Or if my phone cuts off here or something, which it might. We've, we've been recording for a while here. So uh, if, if, if it does, I'll just kind of cut back in at the next episode and show you guys what card we want. Uh, let's see. So I can make Dark Elf, which I don't think would be good enough here. Um, but let's... Yeah, let's just do this. Let's just do Dark Elf. That should be able to go into Mystical Sand, though, yeah? Okay. Yeah, I just wanted to use the extra card from our hand. Um, so we got a good chance to draw the Thunder next turn. Okay, he did start out with the field this time. Okay, so we got to be careful here. Okay. Uh, no Thunder. Not good. Um, Deep Sea Shark is decent, though. So, yeah, let's just throw it down. C sharp. Attack. Nice. Yeah, and see, that's kind of what I mean about, like, the mages are easier here in Free Duel. You see, like, because he played this field card, we got, like, 4,000 on him, you know, on, on the first turn we could attack. Just because he leaves himself open, you know, so. It's pretty interesting. So, 2,400, huh? Oh, man. I'm drawing too many dragons here. There is such a thing. Uh, okay. Well, we'll just, uh, I'll get rid of some cards here. Yeah. Sorry, Petite Dragon. We'll, we'll just defend for now. Just defend for now. Stalker. Oh, so don't put stuff in uh, Saturn or whatever Guardian Star I was. Ooh, not good. Um, yeah, we didn't draw any uh, Thunders. Well, I guess. Hmm, I guess we'll go with Stone, Stone D. I don't think I've tried Stone D with this, so. No, no, okay. Uh. Guardian Star, maybe? No. Ah, uh, well, that's unfortunate, but, you know. Could use a little Ride Geki here, game, if you don't mind. Or just some Thunders, I mean, that wouldn't hurt either. Well, I doubt we'll get as good of a card this game, because our rank is going to be not so good. Oof, two Sword Stalker, man. Oh, man, no Thunders in this game. Oof. Wow. I. I think we just 
lost this one, man. I mean, there was really just nothing I could do in this one. We just didn't draw the, uh, we didn't draw the right cards in this duel, so. Oh! He's gonna give us a free turn. Okay. Um. Man, maybe I'll just play Turtleberg, get rid of some cards out of my hand. Um. Saturn, maybe? Saturn bad against her. Okay. And, yeah, we can't even beat Swordstalker in defense there, so... I don't know. Maybe he won't attack my face down. I, I don't know how I bluffed out the AI there, but somehow I did. By just... By setting our mail, I, like, bluffed out the AI into not attacking. Somehow... Oh, okay, okay. There he goes. There he goes. Yeah, I don't know why he stopped attacking there, but... Okay. Well, he should be able to finish us off with his last monster. Yeah, we only got 200. Yeah. Yeah, wow. Phew. Yeah, Metal Mage, he wrecked us in that door. Holy crap. Wow. Yep, these mages are tough, guys. They are tough. Alright, alright. Uh, do I have time for one more? Uh, I'm not sure. I don't think we do, but uh, I'll try, you know. And like I said, if, if I don't get it in, uh on camera or whatever. I'll just show you guys, you know, what card we won uh, to start the next episode, so. Not a big deal, not a big deal. We're just grinding for better cards here, man. Okay. Uh, oh yeah, I do need to try a Gigatech Wolf here with, uh, to see if it acts as a beast, as a wolf, but, uh, oh no, ooh. Well, maybe I need to take Gigatech Wolf out then if it's not gonna, it's not gonna fuse. Hmm, okay. Well, he's got his field card this time. Hmm, maybe I can trick him. Maybe. Maybe if I play Mountain, he'll play a field card again. Hmm, we'll try it, we'll try it. 